So we're going to look at the Hock Disney Dream and Play Travel Cot and this one is Mini Sweetheart. So here's the box, nice and sturdy. Let's pull it up, pull it up onto the end and then have a look at what's inside. So I know that this retails at $54.99, which seems a really good value for money. Let's have a look at the bag that it comes in and how it looks when we take it out of the box. So I've taken the Dream and Play travel cot out of the box and as you can see, it comes in a really handy light travel bag. If I unzip this, then inside we've got the travel cot folded up really neatly with um, the cot itself inside the base element. So let's put this bag to one side and have a look at opening this up and putting the cot up. So as you can see at the moment, it's really sturdy. It doesn't weigh very much at all, about 10 kilos. Um, we've got some Velcro straps, which keep the base area together. Literally lift that over and pull it apart. Okay, so I'm going to move the base to one side for the moment and then we're going to have a look at putting the cot up. Now the cot itself can be used from birth until your child is around 15 kilos which is approximately three years old. So I have to say this is a lovely colourway. I really like the pink and the grey contrast here. It's really good. Let's lift this up. Now I've looked at the instructions. Let's see how good I am at following them. So we have to pull the sides so that these horizontal bars click into place first. I hope you can see this okay with this camera. That seems quite sturdy, and that one. Let's have a look at this one. Yep. And then the next one. So, all good so far. Oh, nearly. And then we have to push this middle piece down so that it makes a nice taut base. And I can see Minnie Mouse on the other side there. Look <laughs> looking through the mesh so we'll have a look at that in a minute let's have a try then pushing this down so that okay now I'm going to show you what's happening underneath here these legs I hope you can see these legs are going to expand out so I'm just going to give them a helping hand first and then I'm going to flip it over there we are and press down let me stand up so you can see. Press down and there we are. Now that I think was very straightforward considering I've never seen this before and I've just literally got it out of the box and that was about a minute. So really good um, assembly time. All I need to do now is put the base in. Okay, so um, I've picked up the base that came in the box and if you remember this was the part that literally was wrapped around the cot in the box so I'm opening it out putting it in the base here fits in really snugly now this lying area is 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters so that's a really good space for baby to lay in and as they get older I'd say what a brilliant play pen as well I'm going to tip this over to one side so you can see the lovely Minnie Mouse um, logo here. It's really, really cute. Okay, so I think that's it. There we are. It's really sturdy. I like these mesh sides. I'll tip this over so you can see. These mesh sides let you see baby through them without having to wander over and peer down. And of course, that might wake baby up and nobody wants that um, so I'm now going to see if I can put this down again and how straightforward that is I'd say this 
this travel cot is ideal for perhaps taking to grandparents or using as um, you know a travel cot in, a, in the truest sense of the word. It's so straightforward to use, so easy. Let's put it down again. I've taken the base out. We'll just put that to one side. So the first thing I have to do is pull the base upwards. Here we are. And as you can see, that has collapsed quite well. Now what I'm going to do is literally what it says on the tin. I'm following the instructions, press to unlock. Pressing the other side here and that folds in. I've done one side and now I'm going to do the same on the edges here where it says the same. Press from underneath, it folds in. Press from underneath, it folds in. And then literally bring in all of the four corners into the center and cradle them together and then this will be wrapped up in the base like it was when we first picked it out of the box so i've fully fully collapsed the horizontal sides as you can see hopefully you can see it's collapsed into quite a nice compact shape and then i'm going to pick up the sides and wrap them around so for $54.99, I'd say this is a really va good value for money travel cot. I really like the fact that it's so light and easy to use. And I really like the choice of colorway. I'm now going to put this in the travel bag. And then, you know, if we were going on holiday or going to stay overnight somewhere, we we're ready to go. So I picked up the travel bag. It's more, actually, I'd say it's more like a travel wrap than a bag because it literally wraps around the edges. Uh, let's see if I can do this without making a mess of it. I'm just literally putting it into the wrap and then bringing the edges together. So, underneath. There we are. And there's a zip at the top. And then we're ready to go. Now I did promise you that we were also going to look at the Mickey Stars version of this Dream and Play travel cot by Hock. So here it is, as they say, here's one I did earlier, here's one I made earlier. Um, exactly the same mesh sides, I hope you can see, but different colourways. So this is a lovely pale grey and beautiful Mickey Mouse um, motif on the side here um, really clear and colorful so depending on your own interior design depending on your choice you could have the mickey stars or the mini sweetheart version as you can see it's uh, exactly the same model uh, in terms of frame and size 120 by 60 but this one just has um, a different motif